M&J Video Games and Collectibles. Sport and non-sport cards, wrestling items, autographed items. We buy, sell, and trade. M&J Video Games and Collectibles, located at 1049 Queen Street, Southington, Connecticut. Call us at 1-860-479-9223 or 860-93-GAMES. M&J Video Games and Collectibles. Do you treat your dog as part of the family? <laughs> well, so do we. So why not celebrate your pup's birthday with the ultimate party box? Check us out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Party Pup Info, and let us make your pup's party or any celebration perfection. A sleepover? I did. Wow, John. <laughs> it's rough, Jack. I mean, it's Jack. It's John. Jack. Yeah. Johnny, Johnny's my. Uh, I was about. Uh, uh, you know, he's. You know what the problem is, is? Is that the next question involves John? Oh, okay. Tell I us was about, thinking about. Tell John. us about Hollywood John Tatum oh, and, the the and Missy Hyatt is somewhere in this too, right? Oh yes. Anyway, well, yeah, uh, they were they were shoot boyfriend girlfriend. Um, Ken Mantell was the booker back then, and uh, he goes, "I'm going to bring in uh, Hollywood John Tatum and Missy and put you guys together." And uh, we just gelled. Okay. Um, Johnny was a pain in the ass, ninety nine point nine percent of the time. But a uh, great partner. Diva pain yeah. in the ass? or No, uh... just, you know, sometimes he didn't want to wake up on time and make it to the goddamn show. Scheduled interviews. Yeah, a little, you know, wanted to sleep a little longer. Yeah, and... but wouldn't you want to stay in bed with Missy Hyatt, too, a little yeah. longer? Yeah. That is true. That is yeah. true. Yeah. Um, but um, you didn't get fresh with her, did you? It, no. Okay, um, just making sure. Never? No. <laughs> he had a thing. You had a thing. There was no, a few no, seconds no. there. No, no, no. <laughs> Nope, we were like brother and sister. No, we, uh, <laughs> never a thing. Did you, so Jimmy's a huge, we've had Missy oh, in studio. I'm out of in my fact, mind. we right. kind of blame Missy Hyatt for destroying our last channel, but. Uh, you do. But, I still want to have a date with her. You stop. But, um, Missy. Wanna. <laughs> did you, at the point, know that Missy was going to reach higher levels and eventually leave John? No, uh, never had to, never really had that, uh, mm. never thought of it, uh. And, and she'll tell you to this day that that was her biggest mistake in life, was to to break up with Johnny and go she, with. She really? will, yeah, she said that on the show. That, yep, she will definitely say that it was, huh. it was a big mistake. Um, Johnny took it well, you know. They drew money with it, you know. They drew money with the gimmick, but uh, eventually it did uh, it did uh, hurt her career, I think. Hmm. Eddie Gilbert, though. Right, because again, you're a Northeast guy, right? So yeah. we remember Eddie when he was first up here. He oh, was sure. just enhancement talent, right? Um, did you, when you worked with him down there, did you know that he had that type of charisma that he could start getting over in some of the regional areas like he did? He, he was over everywhere he went. He was, uh, he was a very, uh, I mean, a, the mind, professional wrestling mind, on that boy's shoulder was incredible. Um, the whole family's talented. You know, his his daddy was the only referee that ever disqualified me in two minutes into a match, and Grizzly Smith was pissed. I, I was wrestling Terry Taylor, and um, I was beat, kicking the crap out of him in the corner two minutes into the match, and, and he looks at me and goes, if you don't break it up, I'm DQing you. And I'm like, yeah, right. And I continue to stomp on him, and uh, I hear the bell, and I was like, oh, F. Grizzly Smith is going to be pissed. <laughs> so, two minutes into the match, winner Terry Taylor, and uh, he and he looked at me and started laughing. You know, it was right. almost like a rib. But uh, yeah, he was the only one that ever DQ'd me. You know, you brought up Grizzly. I, I, I was a little. I, I guess I'm going to roll into it now. Is we all know the problems the Smith family's had, right? Mm -hmm. um, and in a lot of these interviews, supposedly Grizzly used to bring young girls into the locker room. Was that something you saw? I, I never saw it. I never saw it. I never seen that dark side. I mean, everybody says it happened, but I, I never saw it. Are you, like, shocked at some of the things you find out? Like, where the hell was I? Where like, the I hell was notice. I? I mean, was I in really uh, that gullible or, or what, you know? Was I that big of a mark myself to where I didn't see it all? Um but does does it sadden you at all? It does, cause I he was like a second father, right? You know, a really good dude to me. He he treated me really well, 
on the road. And I never have to, you know, I never, I was never late. You know, I was never late and I was never a problem child. So we hit it off, uh, we hit it off well. So yeah, it's mind boggling the shit that I hear about.